Had my diploma, I was legal and loaded for bear. Trying to win a trophy at the county fair. A bright eyed girl, east of Durango. Well, I played my fiddle and I rambled around like an interstate gypsy going town to town. Living in an RV with vinyl pink flamingos. singing hey all the world's a stage when you got what it takes but it takes what you got i've been with the tweakers and the freakers in a traveling show spent a whole lot of money to make a little dough but i didn't know where this road would go Beale Street Bar in Memphis I was asking advice from a velvet Elvis And he told me, hey All the world's a stage When you got what it takes It's gonna take what you got The man in the suit wants to sell me a dream He said he'll put my picture in a magazine He'll take me as far as my credit card will go Yeah, all right. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. You're so good. You're so sweet. <laughs> no, I'm telling you. I mean, I just, I'm amazed because I can't do that. <laughs> I can't do that. Uh, well, I learned it from you. No, you did not. <laughs> mm -hmm. The ability to sing and phrase on your guitar at the same time. That's stuff that Paul McCartney does. That's very sweet. You know, but being able to. Six coordination, girl, and you got it. <laughs> well, I've got you fooled. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really good. Yeah, right. So y'all you. uh, uh y'all co wrote that. Mm -hmm. yeah. We did. Um it was in, in a in in a house in a uh, in a camper. camper yeah. <laughs> yeah, with a pink with pink flamingos in it, actually. <laughs> that was kind of a reoccurring theme that I that I saw later and thought, hmm, that is that is be in the song. But yeah, so we um, co-wrote that back in probably 2018 or something like that. 19. That was in your trailer swift. Uh, yes. Period. <laughs> trailer swift. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like several things in the song. Jumped out at me lyrically. Uh, All the world's a stage. That's Shakespeare. Mm -hmm. And then uh, uh, the part about the guy in the suit. And it's I'll take you as far as your credit card. <laughs> that is an age old ploy. Yeah. And I always heard that, you know, uh, coming along and said, uh, if you're a musician and, and you're hit upon by somebody in the business and the, they, they're they coming at you saying, man, you are great. And uh, um, we want uh, we want to sign you. Or we want to 
produce you or we want you to record an album. And uh, if you'll just come down to our studios and pay us $3,000. Right, drop us a mm-hmm. check, yeah. That's when you're supposed to turn around and run. But there's so many people that have to learn that lesson that don't yeah. turn around. Did that ever happen to you? Well, you know, they say that the uh, best way to make a million dollars in the entertainment industry is to start with two. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, so I mean, it's just something that, that you become more aware of as, yeah. as you progress and you realize that, you know, the music business is a business. And I mm-hmm. think that's a lot of what's wrong with it. And a lot of shadiness in yeah. there, too. Did it? Pers- to be in your song, did it personally happen to you? Or were you like me that you were just aware of that angle? Well, I was always aware of it, but mm-hmm. that was something that became starkly um, a reality to me while I was in Nashville. You know, everybody um, sort of has that that angle up there. Mm-hmm. And yeah, was, they're, just, they're just waiting on you to come over the right. s- city limit, you know. Right. Mm. And and it's like, you know, it's comes so the is f- the fewer are the legitimate ones. The legitimate ones that will pay you money <laughs> to have you signed to their label or yeah, some, uh, company so, or whatever. Something like are, that. Yeah. Are are few and far between. Absolutely. And yeah. you know, you just at the end of the day you have to be your own advocate and you have to um mm-hmm. Do your own work because no one's going to give it to and you. Be on your own toes. Absolutely, yeah. So anyway, that was just part of my experience. You know, it was just realizing, hey, this is uh, in, in a lot of ways the music industry is pay to play. Which again, I think that's why we see so much of a cookie cutter approach to, you know, to the radio nowadays. And mm-hmm. and it's like the music industry has a certain um, formula that yeah. works for them. Especially we see that with the so called. Bro country, it's so you know. Songwriting too, that songwriting element of yeah, uh, yeah. Punch the clock, right? Sit down in a little cubicle and churn out songs from eight to five, nine to five. The songs that are selling are in A and <laughs> they include these words <laughs> and this topic. Yeah, Get to work. Daisy Duke shorts. We need twenty more. Just Cold like beer. This. Yeah. Pickup trucks. River. You know, I really, I, I can't talk too much about that. Isn't that? Tropical storm. <laughs> I really can't talk too much about that without feeling pretty nauseated. But, uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> but I'll, I'll have to say that something that um, you know attracted me to to y'all's music is it was just very authentic and there was nothing contrived about it. There, nobody was. You weren't trying to hit on certain hot topics. You just mm. sang from the heart and wrote from the heart. And it was very apparent. You know, just. From the first song that I heard from both of you, I could immediately tell that. And I think that's, you know, part of the magic of this um, this community in Waycross is mm. is a, a nurtured sense of authenticity. And plus, we're broke. <laughs> <laughs> that helps. <laughs> helps with the music making. No, I remember somebody, it might have been Sean that said it. Uh, years ago, we used to talk about how wouldn't it be nice if... if uh, somebody from down here could make it and then kind of, uh, or somebody that we knew could make it and then just kind of pick everybody else up. But somebody described it as a, as a wheel that's going around, you know, and, uh, and they said, eventually that wheel's going to land when it, you know, like the magic wheel you spin Mm -hmm. on the game show. And it's finally going to land. The pointer is going to land on Waycross. <laughs> it hadn't done it yet, but well, you know, <laughs> oftentimes you're not aware of your own um, importance, and oftentimes it takes other people to to show you that. And mm-hmm. you know, Uncle Dave, we are musicians, not just in Georgia but far and wide, are really indebted to you for for all your work. You have such a, a far-reaching arm. And in music, and you, um, <laughs> you really do. And we are very indebted to you for all your work that you well, do with the Grand Parsons Festival. And I mean, that, I can't imagine what a, a labor of love that must be. And I just appreciate that you go through the trouble of putting it on for us all. Really? And it, it certainly changed my life, and I, it's touched the lives of so many. And um, I think they should give you the key to the city in Waycross. I really do. I'm, you know, I'm just being honest. And, well, that's sweet. And, of and the you. same to you, Sean. I mean, yep. you know, your your influence. He's is, Batman. I'm just Robin. 
<laughs> um, you know, you guys, y'all are so loved, so appreciated. Truly, it's it's a beautiful thing. Well, thank you. Well, you are too. Mighty sweet of you. 